Today we're showing students how to create a contingency table in Excel. A contingency table needs two variables, minor general health and drink soda. General health will be my left hand variable, so I'll select the category names, copy them, paste them into column K. Underneath the category names I'll add a label for totals in the contingency table. I'll resize column K for looks, copy the variable name, paste it into column J next to the category names, and then do some formatting. Merge the cells, rotate the text up, vertically center, and then resize column J. Since drink soda will be my variable on top, I have to take this column of category names and turn it into a row. Luckily, Excel has a function that will do that. Copy the category names, select the cell one row up and one column to the right of the first category in general health. Right click and under paste options select transpose. This turns the column into a row. At the end of the row add another label for totals. You can resize these columns. Copy the variable name and paste it in the row above the category name. Finally, merge these cells. Now all we need to do is add the counts for each combination of categories in our variables. You might recall that we used an Excel function called COUNTIF in our frequency tables. The problem with COUNTIF is it only checks one variable for one thing. There's a similar function we can use called COUNTIFS. Select the upper left hand cell in your table. Now we'll insert a function. COUNTIFS is under statistical. Just scroll down to find it. Click OK to add function arguments. For COUNTIFS, like COUNTIF, we need to tell it where to look and what to look for. The difference is that we will be doing it twice in the same function. We'll also set up our function so we can use the handle of the cell to paste the function to the rest of the table. I'll start with my variable on the left and select the column of data. So that the reference won't change when I use the handle, I'll add dollar sign symbols to the reference. This tells Excel not to modify that part of the formula when the handle is used. Now, add the category to look for. Since this is the first row of the table, select the first category for general health. Because we want to continuously use categories in this column, we'll add a dollar sign symbol in front of the column label. Now for the other variable. Select the column of data, add dollar sign symbols, for this variable select the first category also. In this case though we want to use labels in the same row, so we'll add a dollar sign in front of the row label. Now click OK to go back to the sheet. You can see that Excel has counted the number of people who are in poor health but did not drink soda or pop in a week. Now we're going to drag the handle to the right to fill in the row. And then drag it down to fill in the rest of the table. Finally, we need to add totals for the columns and rows in the table. Again, we'll make a single formula, then use the handle to paste it to the other cells. Go to the first total, insert a function. This time, we're going to select sum. That's in math and trig.
click OK to modify the function. Just to make sure, select the column of data you want to add up. Click OK and the total appears. Now drag the handle to fill in the remainder of the row. Now for the row totals. Select the first total, insert a function, select sum again, click OK. Just to be sure, select the row of data you want to add. Click OK and then drag the handle all the way down the column. Your contingency table is now complete and ready to create a stacked bar chart.